Hi everyone, welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. And today we're going to talk about uh, embeddable databases, basic databases that you can take a spreadsheet, turn into a searchable database or an embeddable table uh, and post it to your story, to your graphic as an appendage uh, to show people your work. Uh, it helps with credibility and transparency to be able to show people, hey, here's this really cool graphic, or hey, uh, here's this story with some, some great data in it, uh, but to also show the raw data uh, to them uh, so they can uh, see it, download it, and uh, uh, do it with it as they wish. Um, I'm going to show you two tools. Uh, the first and most basic is Google Flourish, flourish.studio. You can set up a free account there. Uh, you can embed tables uh, through there or searchable databases. Um, also, Airtable is another good one. Um, you can build more advanced tables, uh, use some cascading style sheets with it to make it look real fancy. Um, it works uh, well for product, project management calendars and much, much more. Um, you use Airtable and maybe combine it with uh, Slack uh, and you can manage a big project very, very easily with multiple team members working remotely. Um, journalisttoolbox.org uh, has many of these tools on it and then some. Uh, if you go to the data uh, journalism page, which is typically featured out front here, or you can find it down the right hand side in the browse topics area. Uh, the data journalism page has all kinds of charts and infographic templates, uh, mapping resources, uh, scraping and cleaning data, uh, and so on and so on. And, uh, you know, in these uh, pages, you'll just find hundreds of tools, including the two I'm going to show you today. So um, uh, take advantage of journalisttoolbox.org. We also have a twice monthly newsletter uh, and also training videos, of which you're watching one right now, uh, that reside on our YouTube uh, channel, um, which is right here. We've got uh, about 30 videos up there right now. Uh, where you can uh, open them up and they last anywhere from 5 to 12 minutes. So we're going to start with Google Flourish. We have Google Flourish here. Um, and once you uh, log into it, uh, you can set up a free account. The upgraded account costs a little money, um, but really, you know, for your in all your intents and purposes, the free account works just fine. Um, if you've created graphics in here before, a uh, table or a searchable database in here before, it'll show up in this little workspace right here. You can just double click on it and open it. Um, we're going to hit new visualization, go up here, and in there you will find all your templates, your bar charts, line charts, and so on. Um, and you go down here on the right hand side, about halfway down the page, you have table. It says upload a CSV or Excel uh, uh, data to create a searchable, sortable table. Um, the first one is just a basic default table. It has a bingo card design too, which is kind of cool. And then a searchable database. So if you have something that's, you know, maybe more than uh, 50 to 100 rows, or something much bigger, you know, uh, uh, hundreds or thousands of rows, you'll probably want to do searchable database because uh, the embeddable table would take up too much space and just be too deep on the page. Um, and it also makes it a little handier. You can look up, you know, addresses or whatever. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples of, of how to use this. The first one I'm going to upload is uh, Illinois COVID-19 positive cases uh, by race um, that we can uh, embed into a basic table. Um, and this is what it looks like. Uh, this is uh, dummy data that's in here. You've got state, you have the state bird capital and you know, just information about this state uh, that you can embed in here. It's kind of cool. They do little graphics with it and stuff. It all runs off of data. It gives you different, uh, uh, you can add headlines, header and footer. Always put your description up here in the upper left. Uh, very important to have that. It's just a working title, but does show up in very small at the top of your page. I also put a headline uh, in there as well that people can uh, read and see exactly what the topic is. And now you've got this nice headline up there. You can center it too. You can adjust the color of it if you want to. Uh, it gives you a lot of different controls here. Um, I'll just make this red, just give it a little, little flavor up there. Uh, you can add a subhead and stuff. Uh, I'm going to go March 1 through June 1, 2020, because my database goes that far. So this is very early in the pandemic. I'll hit the data tab, and here's all the data that you know appears over here. 
build a new table, you just hit upload data and pull in your spreadsheet of data. And again, this is a pretty small data set. So I can just do it as a regular table instead of a full searchable database. Now we have cases, you know, Latino, uh, non-Latino, black, white, uh, and so on. And there I have a nice little table. To make it public, I just hit export. It asks you a couple times to publish it. And once it's green, uh, you can click on this little link right here and you'll see what it looks like on the live web. Um, and again, this is six pages, so you can scroll through it. It is searchable. So I wanted to see you know, everything on 4-28. It'll only bring up that date, or if I only wanted to see a certain ethnicity or something, or I want to see one number, uh, you know, see how often it showed up um, as far as number of cases, I could do that. Um, and then to uh, you know, embed it, it gives you the embed code right up here. Uh, it gives you three options, uh, JavaScript, accelerated mobile pages, and iframe. Um, or you can just share the link. Um, that's, that, that's fine as well. You just grab this hot link. Uh, with some CMSs, all you need is a link to embed it. You know, if you're using Medium, uh, the uh, more advanced WordPress pages, uh, you can just grab this link and embed the table right in your page. You know, it bends, you know, it's horizontal, it bends quite nicely. Uh, and again, it's good for transparency. But if you have a little larger data set, um, you might want to try the searchable database uh, that works a little bit differently. Um, so this time I'm going to open that template up. And it's right down here, searchable database. And I've got a little larger data set that I'm going to import. I could import my one of uh, uh, cases by race. But this one is potholes that have been patched uh, in Chicago. I think the stat is from like 2014. Uh, but it's addresses and the number of potholes that have been patched on the street. Uh, you know, it's a very big spreadsheet. Um, so you see here, it's got uh, use a toolbar to find your state. That's uh, the default. Uh, but right here, uh, it has search. You can grab the data set and upload it. Potholes patched. And I just pulled this off my city's data portal. And you can put up tons of these databases. Uh, you know, COVID-19 data, all kinds of stuff. So now I've got just this little bar that goes in here. And I'll label this Pothole Repairs Chicago 2014. And if I wanted to look up a, a certain street or something, I could do, you know, uh, I want to see Western Avenue. Um, and there's sure as heck they fixed some and it's been repaired. Um, I can go over here and uh, you know, uh, we have got the ward number. So if I want to see all of them in a certain uh, city council ward, we call them wards. Um, police districts, you know, community areas, so they uh, number them, all of the neighborhoods. We can search by longitude, latitude, whatever, whatever you want. Um, and uh, I can do, you know, completed or non completed, uh, whatever I'm searching for. Um, let's see, 57th. Street, uh, a lot of repairs on 57th Street, so I type in 57th. And again, searchable database, export, publish, publish, and you've got a great uh, searchable database. So that's two ways to do really quick and dirty ones. If you're teaching uh, journalism students, this is a good way to introduce them to searchable databases, maybe in a news writing class or uh, maybe a, a very basic uh, data journalism class or digital journalism class. So. Uh, that's a really easy way to do it. Um, one of the things I like to do too is pair my graphics with my uh, uh, data tables. Um, so to do that, you can click on New Story in Flourish, and I can select a visualization. And I've got this uh, snowfall chart. So I've got this little chart of annual snowfall in each of these cities, this cute little line chart here. And I go over here and hit new slide. This works much like you would do in uh, PowerPoint. And I'm going to go and find my table that I had uploaded earlier of all of the um, data. And there it is, snowfall data. And now I've got my data that runs this chart. And notice it works as a little slideshow. Bingo, bingo. So now I've got the data set and this. Export if I, or if I've done a series of graphics on snowfall uh, in various cities, 
you know, I could just set up eight or nine of these. You hit publish, and there you go. You've got a nice little published spreadsheet with the embeddable table built right into it. It doesn't take up much space on the page. Maybe you've got a shorter story and don't have room for two graphics like this. You can do them as a little slideshow. So that's Google Flourish. Another tool that's really good, and I use this mostly for project management um, when I'm working on stuff with Journal's Toolbox. Um, but uh, it's also helpful for teaching students uh, or if you've uh, got a smaller newsroom and you don't have uh, good database capacity for your website, uh, to build your own data uh, bases uh, using Airtable. Airtable gives you more design control. Um, I'm going to open this first one up and it's just a launch calendar. It's a project launch. Um, and it's just a spreadsheet that you can upload and then edit. Um, and it's just all the steps to you. And you can embed this uh, in... Uh, any table um, that you or web page that you wish. Um, there's different types of views. You know, you can view it as a form, a calendar, a gallery, or a grid. A lot of controls here uh, over these, and they also have them for uh, other uh, types of graphics um, or other types of projects. Uh, digital video production. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Uh, there's one for digital asset management too. You know, what platform am I publishing my videos to? Uh, this is really good if you're running a small digital desk in a newsroom. Um, really good way to manage uh, your teams. Uh, just have uh, these flowing uh, databases up uh, that you can update, uh, and they know to go in and check those internal pages. Um, so you can set these up publicly or privately. Uh, you can do upgrades to this. Um, the free uh, version's uh, great, but you know very limited in the number of records in your database. You know, only 1,200. Uh, if you need larger data sets, it's ten to twenty dollars a month. You know, of course, this one's fifty thousand, and you get a little more storage space with it too. Um, so, um, longer history too, if you need to dig back and, and uh, managing maybe a year-long project as opposed to a shorter-term one. Uh, but this one also is good for just uh, you know posting a, a basic uh, uh, a spreadsheet uh, and having people look at it, uh, or uh, you can have set it up uh, to make it look. Uh, pretty, um, and you can have it uh, look a little bit different, and, and have it you know looking more in gallery view, um, have it more you know presentable like this. If you want to share various types of websites or something like that, Airtable is a really good way to present stuff. And again, it's easy to uh, export and embed. Um, a lot of customization with this that you can add up here uh, in the customization cards. Uh, you know, you can tinker with this for hours and, and come up with all kinds of new little designs and things like that. Um, so again, Airtable, good for project management, but also for different ways of just presenting databases online. You can em embed various uh, uh, tables and, and projects uh, in there. Um, I'll do it more in calendar mode. Um, there's, if you want to do embed a calendar on your website, maybe a public calendar of events or something like that. Um, uh, you can uh, set it up more as a form, too. I, I still use Google Forms, but uh, this works as well, uh, pretty well, too or as a gallery, um, you know, if you want to do your events listed that way. Um, so very, very useful uh, for journalists. So those are just a couple of ways to do quick and dirty, uh, basic embeddable databases, Google Flourish and Airtable.com. Uh, that's all we had for now. Um, uh, check back to the uh, Journalist Toolbox website or to our YouTube channel. Again, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and get updated anytime we post a new video there.